The main topic for today's video is Coinbase and why they are avoiding Bitcoin. I'm gonna to explain to you, this is really interesting. But first, I'm gonna go over the altcoin market with TechDev on Twitter. He says, for the third time, altcoin market cap, which means all the alts, not Bitcoin, uh, has broken above the monthly Bo Boilinger band center and breached the top band. And this is the highest compression of all three. So this is really bullish for Bitcoin. Why? Well, a month, a Boilinger band essentially is if it's one indicator out of many uh, to tell people if something is oversold or overbought. But what's happening here is that altcoins are poised for a giant move up. Um, we aren't there yet though, because what I've been saying for a while now is that uh, I don't expect true alt season to happen until we hit around 60, 65% uh, Bitcoin dominance. That means the overall Bitcoin price and market cap exceeds 60 to 65 percent once that happens i think capital is definitely going to flow into the altcoins and keep in mind that we've been doing really well especially with our ai coins if you are part of our learningcrypto.com or ct club uh, link is down below you will know that we are we've essentially got into paal like within a couple cents. It just hit 40 cents yesterday. Um, and then 0x0 is just another one. Uh, there's so many altcoins that have done really well. But keep in mind that I, th I, I think that we are going to see everything in the top 100 uh, with an, a market cap with over $1 billion. That's my prediction. I think it's going to come true because I, I think the market cap of altcoins is going to be essentially in the multiple trillions, uh, probably five trillion, six trillion in my opinion, uh, especially the alt, alt coins that have to do with AI coins. Those are the ones that are going to do the best in my opinion. Let's move on. So Ferrari, Ferrari is getting into the crypto space, but you know what? They don't believe in Bitcoin. <laughs> They believe in Dogecoin, so they're now accepting Dogecoin in payments as payments, uh, which is ridiculous. Come on, guys, get with it. Uh, especially being such a luxury brand, you know, with all these Bitcoiners that are going to be buying Ferraris essentially during the bull market or after that, if they take profits. Uh, yeah, come on, guys. And and especially, let's go over to Coinbase, which still isn't getting it. They're not that bullish on Bitcoin because. Coinbase has $5.7 billion of liquidity on their balance sheet. Why, why do they have 90% in bonds, market funds, and cash? That's crazy. So it makes you wonder what is happening. My thoughts are that Coinbase is not wanting to compete with their overlords which are BlackRock and so on. So they, they're not gonna compete and they're fine with letting those people, the institutions uh, buy up all the Bitcoin as possible. Plus we had $1 billion of Bitcoin moved off of Coinbase, uh, which is really interesting because I think what's happening is people realize this is gonna be a crazy bull market and they're getting ready to hold their their coins in their own custody, which is really good. It's a good sign that for things to come, especially hovering around 51, 52,000, it's just a matter of time till we hit all-time highs. And I, as I've predicted many times before, that we will see all-time highs before the halving. Yes, I said it before the halving. One other reason why people are incredibly bullish on Bitcoin, why I think it's gonna keep going up, is because, this is from Jeff Kurditis, the US government debt has exploded to $33 trillion. In response, they pl printed new M2 to pl pay for it. So essentially what's happening is they are monetizing their own debt and they've, they've been doing this for a while, but now it's very much out in the open. And that is essentially, I mean, you can call me a conspiracy theory or what, theorist or whatever, but I've studied Rome. I understand how how these empires collapse. This is how empires collapse, guys. Like, like this is once they start start monetizing their debt because nobody else wants to buy their garbage. This is what happens. You have incredible amounts of inflation, and then one day you're going to wake up and you're going to see 
possibly hyperinflation. But I think they have a plan for that, and that is a government-issued cryptocurrency. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Lastly, I can't not be bullish enough on uh, short term on the ETFs, not long term, but we have the first 250,000 Bitcoin that was bought up by these institutions from January 10th till February 13th. And you've seen how much the price has increased since then, right? Now, here's an interesting from uh, quote from Thomas Hey Apollo.com on Twitter. He says, I expect another 250,000 Bitcoin uh, will send the price to $100,000. That could be the case. I don't think $100,000 Bitcoin is very far off. Why? You may think I'm crazy, but I've been in, in this space for over 10 years. This is my fourth bull market. I've seen prices rise much percentage wise much higher than if bitcoin doubled from here like it, within the next couple months or whatever this is that's kind of nothing compared to what could happen in this space even though i personally think that we will top out around one hundred and fifty thousand dollars maybe two hundred thousand dollars that's my guess uh, because you have what you call the law of diminishing returns it's easy when you have a lower market cap so for instance if bitcoin was at a 50 million dollar market cap it only takes 50 million dollars more to double it right but now we are at a trillion dollars and so that's a lot to double a trillion dollars that means another trillion dollars in the market and that's that's called the law of diminishing returns that's why i only expect us to go another 3x maybe um so let's see whatever uh if you let actually let me know what your thoughts are below tell me if i'm completely wrong i'm totally open for that anyways please like and subscribe and definitely check us out at learningcrypto.com if you want to see what we're into with with our trade alerts market updates our portfolio updates and much much more all right talk to you guys soon Bye bye